first witness is called today in the workplace murder trial in Boone County. David Dooley is accused of killing his co worker. The testimony today is so graphic, the victim's family was in tears when they left the courtroom. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick leading the way with what both sides say the evidence will show. Well, there will be no smoking gun in this case. Even prosecutors admitted as much. So today, they start to build their case without it. But the defense says there's no evidence because Dooley is not the killer, as the jury is taken back to the day the body is discovered. David Dooley watched as jurors were transported back to May 29th, 2012, the day of the crime, and the moment the 911 call alerted police to the murder. And I just walked in our office and I think somebody had killed somebody upstairs in our office. Okay. What makes you think somebody killed somebody? She's laying there on the ground, covered up, and there's blood all over up the floor in the office. The 911 operator who took the call, Donna Whiteholder, testified, saying Michelle Mockby's supervisor was on the line. Had she been having any trouble at work with anyone? No, not that I know of, no ma'am. Not getting any calls or hadn't said anything about anything? No. Jurors saw the pictures detailing the layout of the Thermo Fisher building and where the body was found. Among the first witnesses, the officer who first arrived describing what he saw. There was a body in front of us, uh, face down, uh, covered in plastic, and uh, her hands were tied behind her back. Michelle Mockby was the mother of two young daughters. Prosecutors say she was brutally murdered. Commonwealth Attorney Linda Talley Smith says everyone in the plant can be tracked through scanners and card swipes. Everyone except Dooley. But Dooley's attorney says he had no motive and not a shred of evidence, including DNA, links him to the murder. They tried to show investigators did a shoddy job, even failing to check thoroughly in a dumpster near the murder scene. You didn't actually move any of the trash inside the dumpster to, to see if you could find anything that might have been thrown in and covered up, right? Not that I remember. And an evidence technician testified today as well, saying Mockby was attacked in one part of the building and dragged to another. Brian Hamrick, WLWT, News 5. The trial resumes Monday. Head to our website, WLWT.com, right now to get a full recap of the case so far.